Hey guys, welcome. Thanks for dropping by. I'm Michelle Kirstein. Today we're going to work on a cup that I've actually already started. Do you ever have one of those cups that you put glitter on, it's really pretty, but it just doesn't feel done? Well, that's what I've got today. This is a cup I did in my Facebook group and I was just showing some techniques for alcohol ink and glitter and mica. And while it's pretty, it just seems like it's not finished. So I want to do a little bit more to it. So what I thought I'd do is turn this into a peekaboo. Now a peekaboo is something you can do with all of your cups that you like, but maybe it didn't turn out exactly the way that you wanted to do it. And this is a really good way to turn something eh, okay into something really special. So let's look at what we need. Okay, here's everything we need. We've got your cup. I'm gonna go outside and I'm going to uh, spray paint this cup in Rust-Oleum two times coverage white, uh, matte finish. Then we have some acrylic paint. When I bring it back in, I'm gonna sponge paint some acrylic paint on it. And uh, what that does is it kind of, when you sponge paint it on, it kind of gives it a little bit of a rough surface. Um, so we, um, Kind of like a stucco type of surface I guess and that makes the smoke stick to it a little better it just looks really good candle lighter a utensil something to stick in the flame that's what actually creates the smoke that gets under the cup and a decal so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this decal on the cup Turn this around so I can do it towards me. Now what you want to do is you want to start with the top part since we're dealing with a lot of curves. Start with the top and in the middle and then very gently place your decal around and then we'll deal with the curve down here in a little bit. Okay, so you're laying it down and make sure that that's good and stuck on because we don't want the paint to seep in between. Okay. Now, in order to put the top on, you want to actually, I'm going to make sure it's on here really good, take the transfer tape off the top so you've got give on the bottom. So gently pull the transfer tape off, making sure you're not pulling anything else off. And now you've got some give on the bottom to work the decal over those curves. And if you have to, you can cut the transfer tape, but those decals can stretch just a little. And keep in mind, this is a peekaboo, so if you've got little, little bumps in your decal, that's okay. My daughter is potty training my granddaughter, so you might be hearing that in the background. <laughs> okay. Excellent. I do have a little fold right here, but I don't think that that's going to cause any problem. I just want to make sure paint doesn't get underneath it. So there's the decal. All right, so next step is I'm gonna go spray this with the Rust-Oleum white. You can spray it whatever color you want, whatever color you want to uh, 
do your smoke effect on, but I think this cup will look go good white. It also may, may look good in a light pink, but I think I'm gonna go with the white. So the colors underneath stand out really well. All right, be right back. Okay, I've spray painted the cup. You can see right there, that's where I've got my decal. There's a couple of little bumps, but I'm not worried about that. Now what I wanna do is take this acrylic paint and put it over the top. And this, like I said, is a little bit of a glitter paint. Okay, and what I have is my little piece of transfer tape right here. You probably can't see it, but uh, it got a little dirty, and so I'm just gonna use it to put my paint on. I'm not putting it directly on my table. <laughs> All right, and I've got my sponge brush, and I'm literally just going to do this. And what it's doing is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just giving it a little rough spot. And it's got just the tiniest bit of glitter in it, so it kind of adds. Anything with glitter is all right by me. Okay, it's all done. I'm gonna let this dry. Um, another thing that this is really good for doing is since you're painting the cup, you know, there's times when you don't get that perfect paint job. And so if you add this acrylic paint, especially with a little bit of glitter, it helps hide any imperfections if you might have any imperfections on there. So, all right, we're gonna let this dry. We'll be right back. Hi, okay, we're back. The cup's all dry. You can see just the tiniest bit of sparkle on it. It's a little rough to the touch. And now we're gonna go ahead and start to smoke it, add the smoke to it. So let me move you down just slightly. There we go. What we're gonna do is light the candle. And you want to have a candle that's got a pretty decent flame. I'll remove my paint. All right, now what I do, now a lot of people, what they can do is they take their knife and they put it over the flame. And I don't know if you can see it, but it creates some smoke. I'm not that coordinated. I need something to hold the knife there and I need both my hands. So I just took another little candle holder and now I've got both of my hands where I can just start rotating and getting that smoke right where I want it. You can put as much or as little smoke on it as you like. Obviously, your call. Your cup, your call. No rules here. Be careful not to get the uh, cup too close to the flame. Wouldn't want it to catch on fire. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Let me get a little bit more on the bottom there. There's some other ways to do this as well. I just saw one where they were using a tiki lamp and because of the oil that is in there, it automatically creates the, the uh, carbon buildup and so you don't have to have any kind of utensil or anything like that, but you do have obviously uh, put that tiki lamp up outside, I guess. Okay, so let me just take a look. See if it looks the way we want it. And I think it looks really good. And that looks super good. I love the little glitteries. Okay, let me get ready. And we're gonna go ahead and take that um, decal off. But first, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna take this outside and give it a shot of the uh, Rust-Oleum clear coat. That way, even though the 
the smoke is on there pretty good. You can see it's on there pretty good. Um, the clear coat will make it um, stay so you can't smudge it off. So, all right, I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Here we are, the moment of truth. We're gonna pull off that decal and let's cross our fingers that it comes off clean and easy, but we'll see. All right, what I'm gonna use to pull this off is just a weeding pen. It's just like a regular pen, but instead of a ballpoint ink in it, it's got a little pin in it. All right, I think I'll start up at the top where it's a little bit thicker give myself some self-confidence. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's looking pretty good. This is always so exciting to me when it works. Look how pretty that looks underneath. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Clearly I'm amazing myself here, so let me just get to work. Look how it turned out. It's just beautiful. I love it. I may have to keep this one for myself. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and then click subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. And if you're interested in even more, head on over to Facebook and join our Facebook group, Tumblr's Tips and Tricks. Until next time, bye-bye.